Hello. Um, this is a painting I did uh, on January 15th, 2006. Uh, I painted this landscape outside on location. It was pretty cold and windy. Um, not super cold. It was about it was probably about minus 16 or minus 18. Um, I'm looking at it now and uh, the sky just kind of uh, fell apart and all the, the snow was everywhere. It was blowing. Um, the painting, I, I did this, this oh, I'm not sure if it's a sketch or a, a full painting, but I did this in about 20, 25 minutes. So it's quite a, a rushed work, but uh, the whole thing was done from beginning to end in a very short time. You kind of have to work really quick because the uh, snow is um, like sand and when it gets into your palette it it's like you're moving around pieces of rock and you're moving around so if and it's really unworkable so uh, I was very fortunate I would kind of take my brushes and dunk them in I put these globs of paint and then I would dunk the paint brush inside this huge mountain of paint and then uh, kind of mop it on uh, the painting so which is um, but the whole painting just kind of happened so quickly it was a it was a perfect moment for me um, in that whole duration of time I, I there was not one thing that kind of went wrong or that I had to kind of overcome the whole thing just kind of naturally fell into place so uh, it was uh, your mind just kind of goes you, uh, in that kind of sense of freedom of that, that moment of purity when you're, you feel like a snowflake melting on your face. It's, uh, it's how this, this painting just landed on from the transfer. I always think that you should paint, if you're going to paint a landscape, you should actually be in front of it and paint and engage in what you're doing. The, the interesting things happen when you go out and you, when it's too, when it starts raining or the, the sky moves or the sun or something happens. There's always certain kind of obstacles that come up whenever you paint outside on location and and they create kind of moments in your life that you remember. Um, you remember all these small things that happen. Um, and I, I kind of, uh, one of the reasons why I go out painting outside is to kind of challenge myself and to push myself. And when you're out in kind of extreme conditions, you, um, you don't have the luxury to sit down in your studio and, and contemplate how to do something. You just go over and it's kind of like um, medicine in a war zone you just you know you have to make those advances on how to make something work immediately so you just work on impulse and you work on instincts when you're painting and and so you're not trying to uh, make replicate or copy anyone you're just so focused in that it's a bit of a catalyst in, in accelerating your artistic movements forward this painting I um, is a private collection and it's something I'm um, happy to share with you and I and thank you for listening.